Hi Sutra Punks hope you guys are learning and having a good time in the crypto verse a lot of people tell me that crypto is very difficult to understand and i agree with them because the information related to this industry is not readily available so we have decided to start a new crypto 101 series just to bridge that gap This series will be your go-to guide for any crypto terms that you would want to understand. Today we are going to understand FTV or fully diluted value and at the end of this video I will show you how to check FTV of a crypto token. So stick around and watch this video till the end. Hi, I'm Digan Chadda from Coin Sutra. Before we move on I would suggest you subscribe to our channel and smash that bell icon so that you are notified as soon as we drop another video. Now let's get started. Before buying a crypto token you need to analyze it from three directions. Fundamental analysis, technical analysis and tokenomics. Tokenomics is a short form of token economy and is important for deciding whether a token is good for your money or not. While analyzing tokenomics of a particular crypto token, we need a lot of data points and FTV is one of them. FTV can be defined as the market cap of the project once the maximum number of tokens have been issued by the development team. In other words it is a method of computing the future market cap of a project almost all the crypto price and market cap tools like coin market cap or coin gecko shows the fully diluted valuation of a particular coin fdv can be calculated as the maximum supply of a token multiplied by its current market price in other words fdv represents the future market cap of a project once all possible tokens have been issued provided the price of the token remains the same as of today now let's understand how fdv is different from the market cap market cap can be termed as the current market value of a blockchain project this can be computed by multiplying the current price of the token with its circulating supply in the market hence market cap can be calculated as the circulating supply of a token multiplied by its current market price let's consider an example of ftm token which is the in-house token of phantom blockchain network once you are on coin market cap search for ftm token now let's figure out some data first current price of the token is $2 circulating supply is 2.5 billion maximum supply is 3 billion market cap is 5 billion dollars and fully diluted market cap is 6.5 billion dollars so we need to understand how this market cap and fully diluted market cap has been calculated so as we just discussed market cap is a product of circulating supply and the current price of the token which means if you will multiply 2.55 billion with 2.07 dollars you will get the current market cap of a particular token similarly fdv is a product of maximum supply and the current price of the token so to derive fdv you need to calculate 3.175 billion with the current price which is 2.07 you'll get the fdv that's 6.5 billion dollars so this is how fdv is calculated Now we need to understand how reliable it is for valuation of a particular token. In general, as soon as the circulating supply of a token increases in the market, its price decreases. FDV ignores this factor. It assumes that as the supply of the token would increase in the market, its price would remain the same. Let's understand this with another example. Suppose there is a token, let's call it ABC, that is valued at $100. and the circulating supply is 2 tokens the maximum supply of the token is 4 the market cap of abc in this case will be 2 tokens multiplied by $100 that is $200 so in an ideal situation if there is no development in the project the market cap of the project should remain the same this means that the price of token should reduce with the increase in the circulating supply so as you can see in the diagram the market cap would remain 200 and the price of the token would fall to $50 however fdv would be $400 in this case as it would assume that the price would remain $100 therefore fdv assumes that additional supply of the concerned token will not affect its price in the market 
and thus the market cap in the future will increase proportionally to the circulating supply at any given time. Further, there are many other factors that are ignored by FDV while computing the future market cap of a project which may increase or decrease the value of the platform significantly, such as number 1. Future developments in the project Number 2. Additions or departures from the core development team Number 3. Future market relevance of the project and last, developments made by the competitors in their respective projects. Therefore, in our understanding, FDV cannot be the sole reliable metric to evaluate a crypto project. You need to consider other data points as well. That's it for today. In case you want us to explain some specific crypto terms, then let us know in the comment section. If you like this video, then like, share, comment. Subscribe to Coin Sutra newsletter for our free crypto trading ebook. Further, follow us on various social media platforms to stay updated about the crypto markets. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.